are seeing two different types of storms here. So where Jeremiah was compared to where Chris is. So Freddie, explain to us the difference there and what should people be concerned about? Yeah, so the two different things that we're seeing here is the, where Jeremiah is, is the outer band of the hur outer bands of the hurricane. And so he's going through the motions of, uh, you know, seeing some of that rain and then the rain, you know, subsiding just a bit. And the same with the winds that we've been seeing there. Well, uh, as Chris Ramirez mentioned uh, earlier with Chris Jacobs, they're actually near closer to the eye uh, where you're seeing that. And in fact, to tell us just a bit more about what's going on out there and uh, where this hurricane is headed, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Uh, Brian, I mean, this storm, uh, <laughs> you know, a strong storm as it makes landfall. Yeah, we certainly did not anticipate it to, to flare up this much. We knew it would flare. That is a phenomenon familiar to Gulf Coast region storms where at the last minute, just before landfall, boom, they explode in power. Dolly did that a bit. This Hannah is doing that as well as a Category 1, nearly Category 2, within 6 miles an hour sustained wind speed of becoming a Category 2 storm. So that is very impressive. All right, let's take a look at that eye wall. And Freddie was uh, explaining to you why some folks are right now seeing the... Uh, uh, the the blow of it and some folks are seeing the calm of it because when you're in that eye wall if you remember back to Hurricane Dolly when an eye wall was over Sebastian Harlingen and back in toward Port Isabel and it stalled it was awful with peak wind gusts of 140 miles an hour something like that and it just kept blowing and blowing and blowing but down the road everything was fine that's how a hurricane works and right now again Port Isabel or Port Mansfield rather in the eye things are calming down but Raymondville is in that eye wall that the band that band near the eye wall and that's why things are really rough and tumble right now in Raymondville and expected push down through Sebastian and back out through San Isidro and then down to Harlingen eventually right now Arroyo City getting a big shove of that rain and wind tropical storm warnings in effect for the entire Rio Grande Valley that will remain and the winds continue yes you've got the center of Hannah right there in Kennedy County and now you've got you know, Lyford with 32 sustained Harlingen 39 sustained but back in toward Port Mansfield just 13 South Padre Island and Port Isabel 28 to 32 but now you to check out the gusts and you're at 51 Port Isabel 54 Harlingen so strong wind gusts and this will all continue to unfold west as the center of the storm makes its way on into the upper valley over the next several hours this is on through 10 p.m. watch your legend up here your reds to browns up to 50 mile an hour winds right there on as the storm continues to make way so that's tropical good abrupt tropical storm force winds start at 39 miles an hour so when you've got 50 mile an hour sustained wind still blowing through the valley through tonight and again on through midnight and then as you go on into Sunday morning and then Sunday mid-morning, it's still going on down now crossing the river. Hopefully by sunrise, it will be across the river and dying down substantially. Let's take a look at rainfall accumulation. So far, 2.8 inches near Port Mansfield, three quarters of an inch at Harlingen, an inch and a quarter at Raymondville, but only quarter inch to trace amounts out west because you haven't seen the action yet. Port Isabel updating there to an inch and three quarters so far and just getting started. A flash flood watch is in effect for the entire Rio Grande Valley for, well, the weekend. And that means you need to be careful out there. Make sure you avoid water-covered roads at all costs. Flash flood warning is in effect for eastern Willacy on down into northeastern uh, Cameron County there toward Arroyo City and back up toward Port Mansfield. That's in effect until 8.30 for tonight and those will be pipping and popping all across the valley for uh, several hours six to ten inches of rain possible this is what we expect to happen from now through sunday four to six foot four to six inches that's half a foot for the uh, western parts of the valley but most of the valley seeing six to ten inches as a potential remember a flash flood watch means flash flooding is possible so be prepared that's now be prepared a flash flood warning and again, that's for Eastern uh, Willacy and Cameron. That means you need to take action and watch out for inundated areas. Here again is how Hannah will unfold, moving on across Jim Hogg County eventually, and then pushing out a star down into Mexico over the course of overnight tonight, that's one o'clock in the morning, and then by sunrise down and away. 
and you can see in, for, in terms of future casts, we'll put the rain together with this, and you can see the potential from this turning to a tropical storm. Well, again, the clock, Sunday morning, that's about sunrise. It's now a depression, and it pushes on down into Mexico. The seven-day forecast bears out. Oh, we're going to keep the chance for rain day after day after day. That, and it looks like we're going to have to contend with more rain. That's going to be the problem in terms of the flooding. We'll keep you up to speed on that.